Sandra and in today's video I thought it would be fun to do three of my favorite long-lasting lip combinations for a date. With Valentine's Day coming up I thought it would be very appropriate so I initially wanted to do a full makeup tutorial on this look and I actually started filming it but my memory card ran out. I just thought it was filming and it wasn't. Rundown on my makeup really quick. I'm wearing L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. On my eyes, I have Urban Decay T's eyeshadow with Limited Beauté Corinthian eyeshadow all over La Roque liquid liner. And on my cheeks, I am wearing Benefit Hervana and Dior Amber Diamond highlighter. As a bronzer, I have the Chanel Le Beige powder. And I also use the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in the shade Light to set my makeup. Now let's move on to the lip combinations. So the first lipstick combination I'm going to show you is using some Chanel products. This is if you want something kind of in the middle ground. It's not very nude, it's not very bright and bold either. I've mentioned this before but I haven't showed it in a video in a while. And it's the Chanel Rouge Double Intensité in the color Sensual Rose and it is a beautiful color. The lip liner I'm going to use with it is also by Chanel and it is the lip liner in Rose Poudre. I'm just going right on the very, very edge of my lip line. And I'm just kind of feathering the color in. Sometimes I fill in my whole lip with this, but for this particular combination, I don't. I just do the outside. This is just more about establishing the edges of my lip. And then I go in with the stain part of the central rose, and it just has a sponge tip applicator. It goes on really glossy, but it dries down to more of a satin finish. It also comes with a gloss end, but when I just use it by itself, I don't like using the glossy top coat. I just prefer more of a satin finish with this particular lip color. What I really love about this formula is that it is completely transfer proof. It lasts through lunch, it lasts through coffee, and my favorite part, and one of the reasons why I like to wear this at work, is I can drink water or coffee and it does not stain the mug that I'm using, which is awesome. For the second option, we're going to build on what we've already created and we're going to make it more nude. Now, this is one of my favorite products that I use for mixing in with other lip products to make them more nude. This is the Hourglass Femme Nude Lip Stilo and it's in the shade number three. So I just like to dab it, starting the center of the lips, I just dab it in. And it can look really creepy at first. And then I work it in with my ring finger. Having that Chanel lip color as a base also extends the life of this too. It just kind of melts in together really well. So you can keep building this. And also because you're focusing the nude color in the center of your lips, it can it creates the optical illusion and makes your lips look a little bit fuller. So this is your second option, and I do like to use a bit of a gloss, so I'm just going to use the other end of that Chanel product and dab it on, again, just lightly, starting at the center of the lips. The third and final lip combination in this video, I'm going to use a red, so I have to remove this, and I've been trying to scrub my lips with a tissue and some lotion for the last minute and a half. And you can see how amazing the lasting power is. I'm going to start with MAC Cherry Lip Liner. Cherry is a great lip liner to have. It works with any type of red. So I'm going to start fully filling in my lips with the Cherry Lip Pencil. Now don't worry if your lips are not completely perfectly lined with the lip pencil because we are gonna go on top of it with lipstick. And now I'm going to take MAC Relentlessly Red, which is a retro matte formula. It's extremely matte and it can be a bit drying. It's just a gorgeous, slightly pink toned, bright red. I absolutely love it. I'm just applying it straight out of the tube and trying to work it really well into my lips. This is just my absolute favorite bold, long lasting, bright red lip. And the cool thing about Relentlessly Red is that it 
can look a little bit different on other people. When you look at it in the bullet, it looks very, very pink, but on me, it ends up pulling a little bit orange. And with me, I like manipulating it depending on the lip liner that I use with it. If I use something like Beat Lip Liner by MAC, it can pull a lot more pink, a fuchsia. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what option you like best. And if you are interested, I will have swatches of all the products that I mentioned on my blog. If you're interested in getting anything, it might be better to see them swatched. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye! The times we have